Hello everyone, Shiftfell here, and today I've just got a quick mage build showcase for you. I've tried video recording this beforehand, so like it's going to be in my video player or whatever. Um, just to try and shorten down the time that it takes to explain how the build works. So without further ado, let me get into this real quick. Um, I started the entire build just annoyed with the little bugs that kept on biting at me. So uh, two big things about this build, we've got the the flame aura, which does tick damage basically to any of the uh, shrouded enemies. Just, uh, it's based off fire damage, it just takes easy damage. You could hold your shield down and just let it get rid of the bugs for you, which it, it's gonna show here. Also the second big thing here is the healing aura. Uh, I was playing with my wife the other day, and honestly, it's an easy, just hands-free healing for you and your party members. But I think it could stack too if you if you had other people in your party that uh, have it as well. I could just like imagine a group of five people all with water, uh, the water aura. You'd never have to worry about damage. But yeah, super simple build. Uh, as you can see here, the, it's just absolutely wrecking, wrecking them with these numbers. I, I do ticks of like 385, 400 critical damage just using the wand. Slow motion here, I did almost 1700 damage there with the staff on a fireball. I think uh, right after this part it's going to showcase me taking down a boss. And you know, I'm spec. I'm spec between the, using the staff and the wand, so like it, it's it's all good. This is a pure mage build with. I I really don't know what I'm gonna call this build. It's kind of like a sage build. I'd say like, I'm just gonna call it wandering sage. Why not? Uh, because none of none of the enemies within the game like the animals won't attack you and the vuka won't attack you, right? And. This is just a boss fight. This is the closest boss fight to me that I could find. And I slow mode this too because the tick damage is very, very fast. The boss is already completely evaporated. But, uh... Yeah, um... <laughs> I'm actually pretty happy about this build. Uh, normally I wouldn't think to try and make a video on something like this, but this is just so overpowered compared to the other builds that I've seen that I, I figured I'd showcase it before I changed my build. This build has actually unfortunately made the game a little <laughs> feel a little too easy in the end game. And uh, right now I'm looking for uh, a more mobile build, so I'm probably going to do an archer build next. But definitely I would say play this if you're starting off the game, just because it, it puts the game on easy mode. You, you can walk through and you don't have to worry about them pesky little bugs anymore, that's for sure. And uh, this exalted ability right there is bugged right now. Um, there's a few other things I'm going to go over that are bugged. But uh, in, instead of giving you three levels for flame level six, it just gives you uh, two intelligence instead of the third intelligence that it's supposed to give you. And, uh, I mean, I have every single thing specced. This is no buffs, too, either. Like, if I had buffs in this build, it would be ridiculous. This is just showcasing the pure build without really any buffs. Uh, <laughs> like, you could use the 20% uh, damage boost, flame scroll. Uh, you could use the elixir obviously but that'd reduce your time in the shroud not that it matters in the end game anyways um one of the perks in the skill tree that i'd had was on critical strikes it increases your time by like 30 seconds in the shroud so like it, it's really a, a no sweat build uh right here like my my trousers are the 18 stamina to health regeneration for my trousers, and I get that I could use the Radiant Paladin trousers or whatever. Uh, personal preference, I just like the extra stamina, that way I could fly for further. Like, uh, I like having that extra stamina buff buffer. Like, this is me showing, like, I, I do have the 
equipment. You could trade it out. It just depends on personal preference in that regard. Uh, and then for the rings that I was showcasing here, you've got Endless Life, 3% Leech. You have Ring of the Agents. Ring of the Agents is currently bugged. Uh, otherwise, I'd have two things of Ring, Ring of the Agents on right now. Um, Ooh, I might have I might have clicked through it a little too fast, but I'll pause it right here. Ah, come on now. Y'all didn't hear the screech. It's fine. And did I? I'm very bad at the pause game. Okay, uh, we're we're gonna try one last time. I just know it's coming up. I'm gonna miss it. Y'all probably be able to pause faster than me. Okay, so like the Dexterity, Strength, Constitution, Spirit, Endurance, Intelligence, that's plus 5% magic damage, um, the Endurance, forget what that does off the top of my head. I know that, uh, uh, so Endurance is your stamina, so that's plus 10 stamina if I remember correctly, Spirit is plus, uh, one Spirit is 20 mana, then you've got the one constitution, which I think plus one constitution is like 50 health or something. I might be wrong there. I might be wrong there. Don't pay attention to me. But I, I just know that like just those four alone for this kind of a build is actually not bad. I, I'd be wearing two Ring of the Agents if it wasn't bugged. Uh, unfortunately, it is. Um, I do have a few build ideas that I wanted to try with that Life Leech chance. Mm -hmm. Um... This is just me showcasing some of the weapons that I've found so far. I know that there's more, uh, though farming this stuff takes hours of just uh, recycling the same thing over and over again until you find a new weapon, whatever. But like, Yeah, the, that was basically the whole build. I just want to showcase this before I tried making another build because it, it just felt too good to leave out. Um, if you are questioning the weapons that I'm using, I can just go ahead and highlight that. That's Scorching Wand, the Helix Wand, which does Shroud Damage, which honestly it is kind of underwhelming. It has a perk on it that allows you to have a chance, like a 50% chance of an extra shot firing off, uh, which paired with the other wand skill, you sometimes launch off three. Uh, I would say that it's really only good when you're out of the shroud, but while you're in the shroud, it's definitely flame, flame wand all the way. Uh, the lightning wand, I guess, was supposed to be good. Um, it's the tempest wand, I think is the name of it. And I feel like it was supposed to be good for just roughly everything, but it's not like super effective against everything. So honestly, the ones that I find myself using the most are definitely this flame wand, and then when I'm out of the shroud, and I'm fighting like peoples, the, uh, I'll switch to the helix wand. Um, so any other questions, feel free to leave a comment, and I'll see everybody in the next build video. Peace.